all right guys welcome back to the over the wire bandit challenge and we're currently on bandit level 13 going to level 14 and the level goal here is the password for the next level is stored in the etc bandit underscore pass bandit 14 and can only be read by user bandit 14 for this level you don't get the next password but you get a private ssh key that can be used to log into the next level now note the local host is a host name that refers to the machine you're working on now if we ls here we're going to have an ssh key a private key and basically we can use this key to log into the next level so in order to be able to do that we're going to use ssh and we use dash i to log in with a private key so i'm going to I put that which is the ssh you use dash i then you put the the file and then you now use we're going into bandit 14 actually so we have bandit 14 which is the sorry bandit 14 and then at you remember we're using bandit dot blah 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 but at this point we're just using the local host so we're looking into the local host machine and if we hit enter it's going to remember the first video i told you this is what you get when you're trying to log in with ssh for the first time it's going to ask you to confirm if you really want to go into that and we're going to type yes and hit enter and no what is it permission denied public key server mm, okay so that's i i'm supposed to specify the port i believe let's try that it's on port 2220 Okay, yes, I'm supposed to specify the port here. Enter, I type yes again, and voila, we're in Bandit 14. So, ls here, nothing's here, but uh, basically, this is Bandit 14. But the password is actually in etc Bandit Pass Bandit 14. So, I can basically cut that, and voila, there we go, Bandit 14. But we're not logging out yet, so we'll go back to level 14, going to level 15. 14 going to level 15 what am i doing sorry level 14 going to level 15 now the password for the next level can be retrieved by submitting the password of the current level to port 30,000 on the local host now we can use what we call netcat or you can ask what is nc so it's an arbitrary tcp and udp connection it listens and you can so when you open up a netcat port it's going to be listening so if you provide it with something it's going to react to it so in this case now we're going to use netcat so we're going to say nc we're looking at the local host normally you put an ip address and then at port 30,000 30,000 right and if you hit enter it's listening so we're going to provide it with the password we got if you hit enter it says correct and then it gives us the password to the next level which is bandit 15 so i'm going to exit now and exit again and i'm going to bandit 15 15 you enter paste the password right there and voila bandit 15 so let's head on to bandit 15 to bandit 16 now the password of the next level can be retrieved by submitting the password of the current level which is what we got and we can actually this is the password actually you see here this is the password but i think we can actually still re retrieve it using cat uh etc bandit let me see if i can still remember bandit underscore 14 no uh and sorry underscore pass and that should be bandit 15 let me see if i can be able to put it up that way yeah we can always get it that way great now uh we we'll submit this password but uh this time we're submitting it to the submitting the password of the current level to port 30,001 on localhost using ssl or tls encryption now we want to if you're using netcat then we can use also cut <coughs> there's end cut and n n n c so if we say man n c i want to grip anything that is with uh, SSL and C. Sorry, I didn't add grip. Crazy. Grip. Nothing. So if we try next cut. Okay, you can use this by using a dash SSL. Okay, let's let's try that. Let's try that because here let's try that because if you see end cards 
let's just try in cards um local host local host and then it's on port 30001 and then we're going to use that ssl then i'm going to copy this let's see if that works could not resolve Okay, I'm supposed to use dash dash SSL. Let me see if that that's the case. Paste that. Correct. Great. So it's supposed to be dash SSL, not dash. I use only one, so it's two. So we have correct. We have the password for the next level. I'm gonna exit. Exit. And I'm going to add it 16 here. Okay. Add 16. Paste the password. Hit enter. All right, <clears throat> so level 16 to level 17. Now the credential for the next level can be retrieved by submitting the password of the current level to a port on localhost in the range 31,000 to 32,000. Wow. First find out which of these ports have a server listening on them, on them, then find out which of these those speak SSL TLS and which don't. There's only one server that will give it next credential the others will simply send back to you what you sent to them um i'm going to use open ssl here but let me see man open oh let me, what's what is what is um, what is open ssl open ssl command line program All right the first thing we need to do here is to use nmap to check for the open port nmap uh local host and dash p i'm looking at 30,000 31,000 to 32,000 okay so we have uh three five ports here uh so there's the only one gives us the ability to be able to submit that now we need the password of the current password right so let me see cards btc bandit underscore past underscore bandit 16 okay so i'm going to copy that i'm going to use netcart it's still going to use ssl right netcart dash dash ssl i'm going to use localhost so i'm going to just be trying the both of it i'm not sure if you are watching this and you know you should push shortcuts to do this you can just let us know i'm just going to be trying i'll try from the bottom so i'm going to use 31 960 hit enter okay let me be able to let me do this other way she has to be in touch ssl i'm not sure if the the format is important but let's just do that ss dash dash ssl okay hit enter doesn't work uh let me use let me see if it's the port that's the issue 790 yeah okay i think that's that's the case hit enter Okay, in this case we get a private key. This makes sense. Okay, now let's uh, copy this. Copy this. I'm going to enter here and nano. I'm going to just call it SSH key. Paste that and control O, control X. Yes. Okay, Put that that. So we're also going to give that permission. Usually we give that a permission if we want to use that. So I'm going to just basically just the user SSH key. Relax. Great. <coughs> okay. Now I'm going to just uh, exit. Before I exit, so you can see if you're trying any of the other ones, it's it's not going to open when you're trying using the SSL. Uh, which which other one? Let's just say I use this one. Um, let's just say for instance though. Um, okay. What am I doing? Uh, basically, phew. oh my god! Well, let's just say I was doing this. It's not going to work. It's going to give input output error for all the ones that doesn't work if it doesn't have an open SSL. So that's why this one worked. So I'm going to exit, and basically I'm going into level 17. Uh, but in this case, I'm going to use dash i, dash i, and then the SSH key in my yeah basically this I hit enter and there we go bandit 17 right 
bandit 17 okay let's go to bandit uh, 17 going to 18 so um there are two files in the home directory password old and password new the password for the next level is in password new and it's the only line that has been changed between the password.old and password.new we're going to be using diff so what what is diff so it's basically compare files line by line so we're going to use diff and password new and password old I'm not sure if the orientation matters but the difference is what we have here uh, let me see if I do different if it, if it gives me a different thing difference password old and password new yeah I think the first thing you need to do is to put the old one first so whichever one but I think the password is any of these two so I'm going to copy this exit I'm going to bandit 18 bandit 18 hit enter paste that and that worked that worked but it quickly said bye bye connection field so let us go and see if there's something we are missing here in level 18 the password for the next level is stored in a file read me in the home directory unfortunately someone has modified the dot bash rc to log you out when you log in with ssh i see what happens here so which other way can we log into ssh uh, to get a stability um um i think the best way we can go about this is to use i think dash t to give us the bash uh i think let's see man ssh grip let me see grip um is that bash or basically we're gonna use bin bash i'm not sure if that will work let me just uh bin bash bin bash Nothing. stage sorry, not big bash. Nothing. Hmm. Okay. And if we use SSH, let's man SSH and see. Other ways to be able to log in with this. Let me see. Okay. Um. Identify file. That's your. CMD options. So basically, the bash RC. Let me see. Okay, I think I've seen something like this in there. Okay, yeah, yeah. Disable pseudo terminal allocation. Either we use that or force pseudo terminal allocation. This can be used to execute arbitrary screen bash program on a remote machine. I'm going to try a couple of this and let's see if that works. Even if the SSH has no local TTY, I think that still will work. Alright, with this let's use go back to this dash t ssh dash t and let's see what happens. Uh do I still have the password I copied? Yeah, let me see. If I paste that, it still take me out. So let's do okay, let's put that on bing sh paste that. Wow, we got that. Great, so this works. So we're gonna add the bin bash. I'm gonna read more about that actually. I can explain it right now. Read cat not car car read me and that's the password we need for 19. Okay, I'll just go straight to bandit 19 here. Okay. Um yep, 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 come on. So Bandit 19. What do we have in Bandit 19? So the, to gain access to the next level, you should use the set UID. Okay, now we're getting to set UID and some current jobs and all that thing. So I'm going to end the video here. I'll see you guys, uh, you know, in the next levels. Ciao.